Alright guys, so you're gonna learn that right now. What you're gonna need is glue, paper, a coin, and a clear glass, whether that's a wine glass or uh, anything that you can see through. When I say this is one of the easiest tricks, I really mean it. It's super, super easy, and you guys are gonna learn it right now. Yeah, you're also gonna want some scissors and a marker or a Sharpie, something just to trace it around like a pencil. It doesn't really matter what it is. But um, yeah, the trick is right here uh, in the glass, actually. Um, what you do is you set down the glass on a piece of paper. If you're doing this on like a black fabric, you, you can go out and get fabric or something like that. And you just trace all the way around the edge and uh, you cut it out. As you can see, I did that with this. Um, and that's how I made this right here. You can then um, glue around like the circle part and if you just set it on it, it'll just stick. And that'll wash off if you don't wanna make it permanent. But um, yeah, so that's the trick right there. That's just kinda like the basic idea. But how you wanna present it is also part of the importance of this trick. Honestly, I think having just like a random piece of paper can make it kind of um, suspicious. So like if you were do, to do this on like a black mat or something like that, you could find black paper or something to cut out and put it on so it doesn't look as uh, unnatural as just having a random piece of paper on a table. But um, I just did this for the performance of the video. So yeah, you can also get a coin. Um, doesn't matter what coin. Uh, I like to try to make it something bigger, like a quarter or a half dollar, because it's more visual that way. So basically the idea is, y you wanna make it look as little of suspicious as possible. So you can roll up your sleeves, do whatever to make it look like the coin's not going anywhere, and make it as fair as possible. But something you might have noticed in the performance is you cover up the glass here in the front when you cover it up. You don't wanna just pick it up, because then they can obviously see there's something on the cup, right? So what you do is you cover it up as you pull it over, snap. And right as you snap, or do whatever you wanna do to present it, right when you let go, it'll uh, appear as if it's gone. And if you want it to come back, you cover it up again, snap, and it's right back. So a couple tips to make sure you do it properly is Again, make sure not to lift up um, high on the glass. If, if you have trouble covering up the whole perimeter of the glass to make that illusion, um, another thing you can do is, hold on, let me grab something. You can grab like a handkerchief or um, like a rag or just something to cover it up. Uh, right now I'm just using a paper towel for demonstration purposes, but you can, you can just cover up the glass as you move it over, snap, and then pull away that glass, or uh, not the glass, pull away that um, paper towel or whatever you're using to cover it up. That's another way to do it. I personally uh, don't like to use that, but you can if you want. Um, I like to just cover it up. I think that's just really cool, just like that, to show that it's not in your hands, it's not in your sleeves, it's not underneath the paper or anything like that. And then to bring it back, uh, if you want to do it with this, you can cover it back up and just boom, it's right back there. And you show that there's nothing still in the glass. You can even turn it around like that to show it's fair, but never lift the glass without covering it up with your hand. Yeah, yeah, so that's a really cool visual coin vanish that's super, super easy to do. It doesn't involve any sort of sleight of hand or anything like that. It's just a simple cover up. You move the glass over on top, and that's it. It's simple to make. I literally did this within, I'd say, two minutes. Make sure to check out my other videos. I haven't done a tutorial in a long time, but uh, here's one for you guys. It's a really, really simple, sip, sip, blah, blah, blah. really, really simple uh, beginner magic trick. So if you're getting into magic, or um, even if you're already into magic, I think this is a really cool one just to know and uh, to perform. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wait here as you guys hit that subscribe button because honestly you're wasting your time if you haven't already um, I don't really know what you're doing with your lives but yeah I'm still waiting dude I mean you're supposed to go subscribe right now also you're gonna hit that like button right right
So I thought, ah, oh, 